Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to It's Rainmaking Time. This is Kim Greenhouse. It gives me great pleasure to welcome Mehran Kesh. He is the founder of the Kesh Foundation at keshfoundation.com and is working on some of the most important innovations and developments of our time. He's working in three areas, space, energy, and medicine to bring about a better future. He is a nuclear engineer, and he has some startling and remarkable developments to share with us today. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Mehran Kesh to its rainmaking time. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to you. Thank you for being with us. I think the first thing I want to ask is, you have written a book called The Universal Order of Creation of Matters. Is this a book that is available to everybody, or is this mostly for nuclear engineers? Talk a little bit about your book. Yes, we have written two books. The first one is called The Universe of uh, Creation of Matters, and the second one is called The Structure of Light. In the first book, which is the, uh, the matter, we explain how matter is created, what we call the principal matter, which is, they call it antimatter, the dark matter, which we call it transition matter, and matter is what is tangible matter that we see and we feel. And so the book is literally writing about the new and the correct approach about how matters in the universe are created and how they become to be how we see and we feel them. Question to you, which is why three matters? You're talking antimatter, dark matter, and matter, and they seem to be central in your book. Can you share why? The reason being is there is actually one thing, what we call the principal matter, which is, the, which is called the dark matter in a way. The principal, uh, the, what they call it, the antimatter. The principal matter is the actual energy source or the magnetic field source, which as it unwinds in different stages according to our observation as a human being, becomes what we call a dark matter or the matter as we see it or light or whatever. So in reality, there is one, one magnetic field which is tightly packed and is the strongest, which is the center of the plasma, and that is what we call the unifying field theory, which is the actual one field only. It starts as a principal matter. As, and it, as it unwinds at different strength, it appears as different things to us as human beings, according to our um, amino acids magnetic field strength. So we see it in one strength as a dark energy or dark matter. In another strength, we call it the light. And then another strength, we call it the X-ray, gamma ray, and the rest of it. What is the purpose of the Keshe Foundation? The Cash Foundation is set up in the past five or six years, but the original research with me goes back around 40 years. So I set up to develop a new space technology without the need for propulsion. And the principle of my technology and research over 30 years has been we don't see rockets and we don't see wings on the planets, but they all rotate and they all have energy. And they all keep their positions in respect to the other planets and the stars and galaxies. So uh, I have set up and set out to develop exact replica of a planet, which can rotate, which means it's dynamic. It can create magnetic field. It can create its own gravitational field. And at the same time, it can keep its position in respect to any points of reference being the Earth, the Moon, the Mars, or the Sun, or another galaxy. So in 30 years of research, I have developed this technology, and I've produced uh, systems which work exactly how the planetary system works. So our systems is very small. We always say it's about 7 to 10 kilograms. It's made of plastic. There are no heats involved. And we produce magnetic field and gravitational field at the same time in the same system. So our system moves away from the surface of the Earth, not by propulsion, but by positioning itself, what we call magnetic and gravitational fields together, what we call magravs. So we don't need huge amount of energy and rocket and 
fuel tanks to load and send, let's say, a thousand kilo up. We can send a thousand kilo up with maybe one millionth of gram of matter. When we open the plasma, we go to directly, we know how to go for the principal matter. We can extract it or we can release it. Use its properties. We never burn fuel. We use magnetic fields to produce gravitational and magnetic field of the system. Our system finds its strength against the Earth's magnetic and gravitational field, and it moves to a position where it's comfortable, where it finds a balance. So as we change the field of strength, we find different heights, different positioning. So weight becomes independent in difference because as long as the strength of your field passes the boundary of your system, you become an independent entity. That's how atoms are. They're independent entity because they create their own magnetic and gravitational fields. So our system becomes an independent entity. The weight and the mass of it, in respect to the Earth, becomes very, very independent. So you can weigh a million kilograms or a thousand kilograms. It doesn't make any difference. You increase the boundary of your fields, both magnetic and gravitational fields, and you move. And that's what we've done. And that's how we transferred our knowledge and the technology and the know-how to the Iranian government for their space program. How exciting. Now, I noticed that you have for sale on your website uh, three to four kilowatt power generators. Can you talk about that? Uh, yes. It's very easy. These systems are, we can use the energy of the plasma as we start from the antimatter and pick up the energy of the plasma. So when you go for the principal matter, the principal matter in the center of the plasma exists for millions and millions of years. And every time it comes out, it comes out to the length or strength of an electron. So I can take millions and billions of electrons energy from one plasma, one itself what you call the antimatter. So we tap it into this energy, we tap into this dynamic magnetic field, and we release it in the steps of one electron energy. So it's easy to create. On the other hand, we do a dynamic version of generator where, because we create a mag dynamic magnetic field within our system, as I explained, our system is like a planet, so it has a dynamic magnetic field. When we put in a coil environment of a copper coil, we produce the same kind of uh, generator, but we don't need any fuel to burn. We don't need to fuel our systems for years. So we came up with a suggestion of producing 3 to 4 kilowatts, and now we've been approached that 3 kilowatts is not good enough, is not enough. Can you make a 10 kilowatts? So we have put a 10 kilowatt offer out to certain groups, and we already have received interest and orders for it. Now there is a confirmation that people want a 50 kilowatt for the motor car industry for certain reasons. And I explained to them, you don't need a 50 kilowatt power system because we produce gravitational positioning system. Very soon the foundation will offer a small unit, about 10 centimeter to 15 centimeter in diameter, which you can locate in four positions in your car. You reduce your weight. It's again the positioning. <clears throat> you reduce the weight of the car from a ton to 200 kilos. You still can drive two, 300 kilometers an hour on a three kilowatt power point. So wow. <laughs> so we have offered this technology to Toyota. We have offered the technology to Mercedes-Benz in Germany. They are fully aware of what's coming on. We are not talking theoretical. So um, Toyota headquarters in Brussels have received a a full layout about a year and a half, two years ago, and they said, when you open the market, be prepared to come in. And it's the same with the Mercedes. So in a way, we can reduce the fuel consumption in the present diesel or engine fuels by reducing the weight of the car below 200 kilograms. Wow. So every car will choose exactly the same, so you get more mileage out of your car. Is it a very complicated installation, or is it... No, I don't see. We can't talk about it, because already putting the 3 to 4 kilowatt energy on the net has caused us a lot of hassle. 